Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Friends, uh, this is our first session for polynomials. And uh, in this session, we'll be discussing algebraic expression, identities, factorization, remainder theorems, factor theorems, and more. Okay. Uh, before we move further, let's uh, have a quick recap of some basic algebraic uh, terminologies. You might have studied in your previous years the term constant. Now, what's a constant? Constant is a symbol having a fixed numerical value. Okay, uh, that means the value of a particular quantity is fixed, then it is known as constant. Suppose number 2. Universally, number 2 is 2 only. Nothing else can be assigned to it. So, it's a constant. And now what is variable? A symbol which takes various numerical values is called a variable. Suppose I have a number x. Now x can be 2, 3, 4, 5. It can be any negative number that is minus 1, minus 2. Or it can be any fractions say 2 by 3, 4 by 5. So we can assign different values to x. So it's a variable. So uh, I hope you are clear with the difference of constant and variable. Now let's uh, recap the uh, term algebraic expression. Now, what is an algebraic expression? It's a combination of constants and variables which, uh, which are connected by the signs of fundamental operations that is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay, so uh, we call it a algebraic expression. Uh, let's see some examples of algebraic expressions. Here we see 3x square plus 4y plus 2. So this is an algebraic expression. Similarly, minus 5x cube plus 3x square plus 4x plus 2. It's an algebraic expression. Okay. It's a combination of uh, variables as well as constants. Okay. And they are connected by mathematical operators like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Okay. Now here we see. Uh, in this expression, this 3x square, 4y and 2, these are the terms of this algebraic expression. Similarly, over here, 5x cube, 3x square, 4x and 2, these are terms of this algebraic expression. That means it is a complete algebraic expression and these are the terms of this algebraic expression. Okay, uh, now one more term over here is a coefficient. Now, what is a coefficient? Here, uh, we see 3x square. Here, 3 is a constant and x is a variable. Now, coefficient is what? Here, suppose we, uh, whatever is being multiplied to that particular variable. So, here, 3 is multiplied to x square. That means 3 is the coefficient of x square. Okay. Uh, similarly, coefficient of y is 4 and 2 is the constant term. Uh, just see over here. The coefficient of x cube is minus 5. Coefficient of x square is 3. Coefficient of x is 4 and 2 is the constant term. Okay. So, I hope you are clear with the basic terminologies of algebraic expressions uh, and uh, definitely you have already done uh, these terminologies in your previous classes. So, now let's begin with the next, uh, what's a polynomial? Now, a polynomial is an algebraic expression in which the variables have non-negative integral exponents, okay? Here we see the example of polynomial that is 3x square plus 4y plus 2. Here variable is carrying a positive power, isn't it? x is carrying square. Similarly, y is having power as 1 and 2 is having power, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, here the variable is having the power as 0, okay? So the variable should have the powers as non-negative integral values, okay? So, it's maybe 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, any number. Okay. Similarly, over here, 
uh, it's minus 5x cube x is having power s3 here x is having power s2 here x is having power s1 and here x is having power s0 or we can say exponent is 0 so these are the examples of polynomials suppose i have an expression x raised to minus 3 plus 5x square minus 3y plus 1 by 2 uh, friends we cannot say this expression as a polynomial because in this case x is having the power as minus 3 but in case of polynomials the variable should carry the power as positive or we can say non-negative integral values okay so let's have one more example see x cube plus x square minus y plus 3 by 2 uh, just see whether this is a polynomial or not yes it is a polynomial because in this case all the variables are having uh, non-negative integral exponents doesn't matter if a constant is a fraction okay it can be a fraction or it can be an irrational number also okay so basically variable should be having non-negative integral exponents okay i hope you are clear